Hey, this is Sonic Doom Mario with a video showing you how to beat the part time of 50 minutes on the final level of Halo CE, the Maw, uh, in Halo the Master Chief uh, Collection on the Legendary Difficulty. So switch to your plasma grenades at the start of the level and then go into this uh, maintenance tunnel. Uh, kill all the infection plus that come up, that way they don't uh, eat away at your health. Uh, start shooting at the carrier forms and hopefully you'll destroy one, which will hopefully destroy the rest. Uh, if not, the sentinels should take care of them. Then use one of your plasma grenades to stick one of the sentinels. If you can hit one, you should be able to break down all of them. Switch back to your frag grenades afterwards. Go over here. Uh, drop it at the feet of that combat flood and pick up his shotgun. Take note of uh, where it goes. That way you can uh, quickly pick it up and kill the rest of the flood. Now when the flood breaks this door, uh, aim your grenade into the top right of that doorway so it will bounce off the wall and through the hallway and it'll... Uh, kill a lot of uh, combat while doing that. And the reason you want to angle your grenade like that is so you can throw it over the infection forms. Uh, that way it doesn't bounce off an infection form and possibly uh, come back at you. So go through this hallway here. Uh, go over here, restock up on health and grenades. And over here is a door. You're going to have to wait for the hunter to uh, break through it. Uh, run past the hunter. He'll usually focus on the flood instead. And here, just stick along the right side of this room. Uh, try to get past the covenant. And we actually get beat up pretty good here. We actually almost die. Normally this doesn't happen, the Covenant is usually too busy fighting the Flood and they don't really uh, focus their attention on you. So in here, we're at the bridge, there's two ways to get rid of that Elite. One of them is to uh, stick it with a Plasma Grenade, because he does take a second before he recognizes you. The other way is to walk right up to it and hit him close up with two shotgun hits, that'll kill it uh, very quickly. Uh, I chose to stick it with the Plasma Grenade because they only had one bar of health, so I didn't want to take too much of a risk there. Uh, clear out the grunts here with the uh, shotgun. Uh, just be aware that two of them do have fuel rod guns, and uh, the fuel rod guns explode when you kill the grunts, so you just want to stay back and not get caught up in the explosions. So go to the terminals, get the cutscene, run away from the sentinels, uh, get this health pack if you need it. And now uh, go down this hallway and uh, into the uh, break room here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, combat flood that come in. Uh, I was trying to get that shotgun so I could get some more ammo. I wasn't able to get it, I think. Uh, in here, I tried to uh, drop a grenade in. Uh, I didn't think I had much luck killing a whole lot of people with it. But once everyone's dead, uh, just go through, go through this door. Uh, go through the doorway across from you. If you want, just shoot that shotgun flood to your left. That way he's not chasing you. Uh, turn around, kill any uh, combat flood that come after you, because they will shoot at you from the back. Uh, in here, switch to your plasma rifle and your plasma grenades. You're going to want to try to stick a sentinel. I missed the first grenade, but I got the second one. You can see I killed, uh, destroyed six sentinels, which is uh, the exact amount that are in there. So uh, They're pretty weak to plasma grenades, so one explosion will normally bring them all down. Uh, and here, I stick another uh, sentinel on. Uh, it didn't get all three, it got two of them, so I finished it off with the plasma rifle. Which, by the way, that's why we keep the plasma rifle around too, because the sentinels are weak to it. Now go through the second door into this prior room. I'll walk up those little two uh, dividers. Uh, you can walk up the two when you won't uh, slip down, and then crouch jump to uh, get up onto that higher ledge. You can uh, do that as a shortcut and skip a whole lot of fighting between the Flood and the Sentinels. Then go down this hallway, there's going to be a lot of uh, Flood at the end of this hallway. Uh, I tried to uh, pull up the Carrier Floods, hoping that it would destroy everything around them, so I just dropped another grenade in. Uh, my shields are down, but it's not going to be a problem. You can just pick up this overshield so they'll fill right back up. And remember, you're invincible when the overshield is filling up, so you won't take any damage from those Infection Floods. Now go down this uh, service tunnel and something weird happens to me here. I actually get snagged up with this grunt, usually I always beat him to the punch. And I'm trying to fight him here and that just threw all the Covenant's attention at me. And that just wiped out my overshield completely. Fortunately it doesn't uh, really come back to bite us. Uh, there is one other elite, you can use that hallway to get around the Covenant and uh, recharge our shields if necessary. I tried killing that elite, I don't know why, but I couldn't finish him off. Uh, you just want to go back here to the armory, uh, swap out your plasma rifle, uh, get a rocket launcher, max out on ammo. Now we're going to head to the engine room. So yeah, like I said, the reason why I keep the plasma rifle around that long is that uh, it's really good against the sentinels. The sentinels are pretty weak against plasma weapons. Uh, and you can use it to quickly destroy sentinels if you miss your plasma grenades or if you don't have any. So now we're in the engine room. I think this is probably the trickiest part of this whole speed run. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong here, just depends Alert. on uh, your spawning luck uh, with the flood and the sentinels. We can't restart the count now. So when we get Both halfway up to the top of the room, we're just going to take a little shortcut and uh, avoid fighting a lot of the flood. And it involves these uh, three containers here. You're going to want to crouch jump onto the red one. Uh, that way, if you overshoot it, you won't fall down onto the floor below you. Uh, there are gaps between them, so just jump across them and then just jump onto the uh, exhaust coupling here. Crouch jump onto this higher ledge. Uh, activate the console. This will pull back the coupling. Uh, and wait for the... Uh, and 
unfortunately for us, the uh, vent just closed when we got on, so we have to wait for it to open back up. And this is the most dangerous part, because you can, uh, you're vulnerable to other enemies attacking you during this time. When it opens back up, shoot a rocket, uh, get onto the edge of the, uh, coupling, then jump on back under the higher ledge here. You can destroy these four reactors in any order, but there is a specific order I do them. I think it's the most uh, quickest and efficient way. So go to the back room, take the one on the left first. We're going to pull back another coupling. Uh, and here I have to get rid of that plug before it gets in my way. Uh, fortunately for us, that vent was already open, so we were able to destroy it pretty quickly. And now this is the third one, I think, is the most difficult one to destroy, because by this point, a lot of flooded sentinels have spawned in, and they're going to start beating you up pretty good. Uh, fortunately for us, again, the uh, vents are already open, so we're going to destroy it. And this is why you want to save this vent to be the third one. Uh, that way, if you're getting attacked, you can just jump off, go through the store, and this will bring you right back up to that room. Uh, so it's good shelter. You can wait for your shields to come back up. Just watch out for the flood that are at the top. This is the room, I believe, that uh, the flood just spawned in uh, when you're on screen. So now we have uh, one more fusion reactor destroyed. And we always save this one for last because it's right next to the exit. That way you can destroy it and then just make a beeline for the exit. And I just drop a grenade at that flood since it's too far away from me to attack. So fortunately, this one opens right up, so we're able to uh, destroy it quickly. Uh, crouch jump back up and go through all these doors. So here we're just racing to the elevator. Uh, make sure your rockets are uh, fully loaded. Uh, we are going to need them for the elevator when it drops down because there's going to be a large group of Covenant here. And remember, they're all spec ops, so they're pretty tough. Uh, I drop two rockets in and then immediately back up because you're going to get uh, pummeled by the elites. Uh, and the spec ops elites will sidearm grenades at you. They're the only elites in the game that will throw grenades. Uh, so you want to back up in case one of them does throw a grenade. They're usually pretty accurate with it. Uh, and usually he likes to crouch right at that doorway, so even if you don't uh, have any other rockets left, you can use the shotgun and finish him off pretty quickly. I mean, it's amazing how deadly the shotgun is, is in this game. It just takes two shots close up on Legendary to destroy uh, the strongest elite in the game. Uh, so here, uh, there's not much really to say, uh, but we do have to fill some dead air since it's like the elevator ride. Uh, the part time again here is 15 minutes. So uh, if you learn the ins and outs of this level, it's not too bad to get. Uh, and this is a level where you want to beat the part-time if you're going for the GOAT mode the achievement, which is to beat the game under three hours on Legendary. So now that we're at the top, don't worry if you got beat up, because there is some health that we can pick up right before we get in the Warthog. Now, I think the trickiest part of the run is right here, because uh, you could get caught up in an explosion either from a grenade or a few run. I just sit back for a second to see where the explosion is and then uh, run through it afterwards. So in this first room, I think the safest way to get through is uh, stay on the ground here and then just go up this ramp. Uh, you want to go up the ramp at full speed, that way you can make this gap and stay on top of the room. There's nothing up here really that can attack you, just stay up here uh, and you'll avoid all the enemies below. Uh, just uh, watch out, if, depending on how your Warthog is angled, you do run the risk of uh, the Warthog tipping over and you falling out. Uh, and the risk really isn't running out of time, but once you're out of the Warhawk, you're definitely much more exposed to uh, other gunfire, whether it be from the Flood or Sentinels or Covenant or whatever. So in the second segment, uh, the safest way through here is just stay along the right side of the room, uh, go up this ramp, and then just cross over here. There's nothing really over here that can take you out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and debris in the middle of the room, so it's uh, less riskier to just stay along the right side, and it's uh, quicker to get through more straightforward. So here in this room, just to zigzag through the area, uh, just usually it's safer to not use the ramps because again, uh, funny things can happen with the Warthog in this game with the uh, Warthog physics. It uh, feels like if you just go up any kind of slope, you're just running the risk of tipping the Warthog over. So the next room is the same one as the previous one. Uh, it's the same as the previous one. Just stay along the right side, go up the ramp. Uh, no risk at all in that room. So now we have one more room before we... Uh, get to the area with foam hammer and uh, usually I just stay on the ground here and I end up tipping the warhog here uh, yeah way to go uh, fortunately there's only uh, infection floods down here so they don't pose any risk uh, but usually what I do is I just stay along the ground I'm not sure if that jump is makeable uh, from that height and that distance so I just uh, stay on the bottom I don't, it doesn't even look like it is just stay on the bottom and just uh, zigzag through uh, so at the end of the room, there's going to be an elite on a uh, shade, so you want to avoid him. And for whatever reason, uh, you have to go down here if you want Cortana to uh, trigger uh, 
her radio and need a faux hammer to pick you up on the double. That's the only way I can ever get it to work, so uh, fun fact right there. So here, we're not going to wait around for Poe Hammer to get shot Wait, down, just stop. run right through. By the way, if you look up on that beam to the right, you can see a skull. That's the uh, front birthday party skull. It's kind of funny, because once you see it, it's hard to not see it. You always have to plant your eyes. So now we're in the uh, final stretch, and I think, you know, the absolute worst of the level is behind us. So here, uh, there's not much to say. Uh, just watch out for any floods that come out from the side. You can easily just run them over. Uh, in this tunnel, there's going to be uh, some grunts and uh, always walking around. Watch out for the grunts. They do uh, carry fuel rod guns. You don't want to get caught up in that. And I try not to run over these elites, uh, although I have to run them over there because he's right in the way. Uh, they're not really interested in fighting anyway. I like to think they're just trying to get off the ship before uh, hit and hit will blow to pieces. Uh, not to mention you ally with the elites at the next, end of the next game anyway, so I give them a hard time right now. So here, again, you just... Uh, you want to keep your Warthog uh, pointing upright, you don't want to angle it down, because if you do uh, drop in at an angle, you could tip out of the Warthog and the fall could kill you. Fortunately, we're able to uh, land upright and keep our momentum, so we're able to just go through at full speed. Uh, sometimes if you do land, uh, you do have to turn around and uh, get some momentum, that way you can clear the second gap. But now we're in the final part of the game. Uh, I end up tipping the Warthog over here, but uh, we don't really need it anymore, but we yeah, do have to uh, go around here. So the safest way to get through here is just go out here, stay along the outside, don't go through that center path. That way you'll avoid all the Covenant and flood fighting at each other. And uh, when you get to the ship at the end, just uh, cut back in, uh, go up this ramp, and that'll trigger the end of the level. Now, this whole ending is unskippable, so I just uh, skipped right ahead to the ending screen. So you can see our final time, 11.43, that's pretty good, that's under the par time of 15 minutes. That might actually be a new time for me, if not I was within seconds of it, and who knows, maybe I would have had a new time for sure if I didn't uh, tip myself in the Warthog once or twice. Uh, but I hope this video does help uh, you speedrun Halo, and I will see you next time.